it's good to be on this uh, airplane with you. I think the uh, clouds are quite pretty going by. Yeah, the view is stunning, isn't it? I love watching the clouds drift by outside the window. It's so relaxing. And speaking of relaxing, I've got a great idea. Why don't we make this flight even more enjoyable? I've got a mini bottle of sake in my bag, and we could share it together. It's a Japanese tradition, after all. What do you say? Well, I think that would be a good idea, but maybe we should leave that till a little bit later. No worries, we can save the sake for later. So, what do you like to do to pass the time on long flights? I'm a big fan of reading manga or listening to music. I've got a new album from a Japanese indie band that I'm really into right now. Do you have any favorite artists or genres? Yeah, I like 70s rock and roll, especially things like Steely Dan. Whoa, nice taste. Steely Dan is one of my dad's favorite bands, and I've always loved their smooth, jazzy vibes. Deacon Blues is one of my go-to songs when I'm feeling laid back. You know, I've always thought that their music would be perfect for a lazy Sunday afternoon in Tokyo, sipping coffee and watching the rain fall outside. Have you ever been to Japan? No, but I'm looking forward to it. Right now I'm just going to look out the window for a while and maybe fall asleep. Sweet, take a load off and enjoy the view. I'll just flip through this in-flight magazine and check out some of the Tokyo travel tips. If you doze off, don't worry, I'll make sure to keep an eye on your belongings. And hey, if you need a blanket or a pillow, just let me know, okay? Okay, thanks. No problem. By the way, I've got a funny question for you. If you could try any weird Japanese snack on this flight, what would it be? I'm curious to know if you're adventurous enough to try something like wasabi peas or seaweed flavored chips. Uh, I wouldn't mind trying some munagi, which is uh, eel. You're a bold one, aren't you? Unagi is a great choice. I've had it before, and it's actually really delicious. The sweet, savory flavor is so unique. If we're lucky, maybe they'll have some unagi flavored snacks on this flight. But if not, we can always try some when we arrive in Tokyo. There's this one restaurant in Shibuya that serves the most amazing unagi dishes. Anyway, enough about food for now. So, what do you think about the idea of exploring Tokyo's <laughs> nightlife with me? It's a great idea. Maybe I'll make a Tokyo set. See ya.